Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and what we have sold. I think we've got five things all together going out. The first being this book, another Stephen King. This came out of the three boxes of old books that I bought. We are already in profit and this sold for $25 plus the cost of shipping on Facebook Marketplace. I paid $15 for all three boxes and I've probably only got through one of the three boxes. So we still have two boxes to list or tag for the antique booth. $25 plus the cost of shipping. Pretty good. Next we have a side Hewell's Pottery um, jack-o'-lantern like candle holder thing. Uh, it is signed on the bottom. I did do some research. This actually came out of my own personal Halloween decoration stuff. I just happened to see that it was signed on the bottom and I looked it up and seen, hey, this is actually worth something. I don't know where it came from. Auction lot stuff maybe? I don't know. I've had it for a while. But sold it on Etsy for $40 plus the cost of shipping. So I am completely fine with seeing it go bye bye Looks like I might need a rich for this. We need that piece. I'm fairly sure that I picked this up from a thrift store and sold it for $30 plus the cost of shipping. It's a little dusty, I gotta wipe it off, but uh, no damage. I don't remember what I paid for it, but I think I paid five, somewhere in that range. So not bad. It's been sitting for a long time though, so there's that. Probably at least, I want to say a year and a half it's been sitting online. Now on to eBay. I took a $9 offer on this triple Yahtzee game. That again, I have no idea where it came from. It was probably garbage picked, but I'm not sure. It was hanging around the farmhouse for a long time underneath one of the chairs and decided that uh, we don't have anywhere to store it. So I listed it for $15, took a $9 offer, plus the cost of shipping. I'm telling you, I have inventory stashed all over this apartment. That is the piece we need, and I'm going to need my super tall child because we're just gone. And he grabs it like it was literally nothing. He didn't even have to tiptoe. But this is a sold on eBay piece. It is Sign Reynolds Pottery. I had never heard of it, but I love any kind of stamped, like, crockery, pottery, that kind of thing. Spongeware. Oh, love it. It sold for $20 plus the cost of shipping. And again, I don't know where this came from. It sat on one of our shelves in display at the farmhouse, but we don't really have space for that here. So I listed it for $20 and it sold for $20. So I'm okay with that. And now that all that is done, I'm going to get back to reading my book. I am uh, about halfway through at this point. It's it's getting pretty good, I'm not going to lie. It, it started out a little slow, um, but it's getting better. So I'm going to get some reading done. We almost got out the door. And I just took an offer on this Stephen King book. Another one that we got out of the three box deal off Facebook Marketplace for $15. I just took an $18 offer on this on Facebook Marketplace. We're going to get it ready to head out and then we're going to go to the post office and possibly Salvation Army. Sorry, it's a little windy, but when it's 44 degrees outside in Michigan in February, you take the Mustang and you stop at Salvation Army after you're done with the post office. Why do I love this? She wasn't busted. Bro, that is like needlepoint. Whoa, almost took down the shelf. Oh, I really like that. I, however, I'm not a huge fan of the duct tape job on the back for 13 bucks. I don't know. Initial Rich. get you out. It is modern, made in China, but oh my god, I love it. I need a farm. Hmm. How did I not see this? Again with the $12.99. I don't know if I like it $13 worth. Hmm. I kind of like that. Yeah, you hang it on the wall. Yeah, it's a lamp. Mm -hmm. 
What do you think about the... Made in China, June of 05. What do you, what do you think about the horses? Just awesome. <laughs> and he, of course, points out the big chip in the back. Which sucks. So that stays. So I almost knocked this off the shelf and then decided I should look it up. And apparently Stella, the Sunset Warmer, is worth a little bit of money. All right, we need your guys' assistance. Is this an apple? Or, what did you say, a cherry? Cherry. Or a cherry. Apple or a cherry? What do you guys think? We've had these before, but it was the strawberry, and it looks like the strawberry sells a little bit better. But for six bucks and easy shipping, I may get it anyway. Okay, so realistically, they'll probably sell for about 25. They want six for it. After cleaning it up, taking photos, listing it on sites, and uh, selling it, paying fees, boxing it, we decided it's not worth it. And on to the next question mark of we don't know what this is or what it does. We're trying to find any kind of marks on it, see if we can figure it out. Hmm. We're back on the hunt for Sully's. The one that Nellie had is now in shreds. <laughs> well, that's fun. I don't see any Sully's though. Real question, can anybody explain to me why the dressing rooms are closed? I don't understand that. Like. It's not like you're piling six people in a dressing room. It's just you. I don't get it. Ooh, is this what I think it is? <gasps> oh, and it's lighthouses. Is this a... No, it's still a vintage one, I think. Masmania? Oh, is that a stain or is that... No, that's just the way it's made. All right, I'm going to look this up real quick. Oh, my gosh, look at the... Hummingbird one. I'm obsessed with these fleece jackets. It looks like the Masmania ones, at least on Google, seem to be listed for a decent amount. So I'm making a executive decision and saying yes. What I super duper want to find at one of these thrift stores is one of those backpacks that have the like cat capsule in the back so I can uh, take my cats <laughs> hiking. All right, we're back at the house. We spent $37 on what exactly is your question? And that is also my question because I was kind of adding up in my head like, wow, we spent $37 on four things, but apparently we did. Now, is this called cross stitch? Cross stitch? Or is this called... Now I can't think of the other name. Um, needlepoint, that was the word I was searching for. Is this cross stitch or needlepoint? Or is that the same thing? I don't know. I love it though. It is kind of large, but um, $12.99 is what we paid for it. It's in really good condition. Like I said in the store, I'm not super happy with the duct tape, duct tape job, but it is what it is. It's on the back. You're not going to see it. And there's no glass, so it'll be easier to ship. Um, I have no idea what to expect price-wise. I'm going to do a little bit of research and go from there. Now, I haven't seen one of these fleece jackets in a while. They are vintage. They were real popular, I think, in the, like, 80s and 90s. Um, this one is lighthouses. Usually, I find them with horses. This is the first lighthouse scenery that I've come across. The brand name is Masmania. Um, I did notice when I was in line that somebody had wrote their name on the collar, but I don't think that's going to affect it really all that much otherwise it's in really good shape it's clean there's no damage or stains um i'm thinking at least 45 dollars so we'll see how that goes <laughs> um they were listed between like 45 and 65 i think 65 is a bit much but 45 is pretty reasonable so i think i'm gonna start it between like 45 and 55 and just kind of see what happens we also took a chance on this Detroit Tigers lamp. I am not a sportser. I don't watch sports. I can sometimes get away with sitting 
for maybe 15 minutes on a baseball game. But other than that, I mean, if it's live, it's a little bit different, I feel like. But on TV, no, I'm good. Um, paid $6.99 for this. I think we're probably going to ask about $45 for it. Um, we could not find another one like it. It is resin. It's pretty heavy. Uh, but no damage. I don't know. I thought it was cool. We just thought it was cool, so we decided to take a chance on it and see what happens. And for the question mark, it's the Scentsy Warmer. I almost knocked this off the shelf because I did not realize that the head came off and that it was a Scentsy Warmer. And then I decided to look it up for some odd reason. I have zero idea why because this is not my wheelhouse. But I did. I googled it and I looked it up. And this is Stella. Stella the Unicorn Scentsy Warmer. And I guess it's a limited edition, and I guess it's pretty rare. And even at auction, there's one at auction right now with like 13 bids. It's at $41 plus shipping with a day and like nine hours left. I have no idea why. Um, but yeah, some people were asking up to like $100 for this thing. You say it's so sensey right there. $100. Are you kidding me? Who in the heck would spend $100 on a sensey warmer? I don't understand people sometimes. But, yeah, I don't know. $65 or bust offer? We'll just kind of see how it plays out. It's, like I said, the question mark item of the day. I will let you know what happens when it sells, obviously, because that's what I do. Um, but, yeah, that's it for today, and we'll see you guys on the next. Bye.